The Fort Erie Rotary Club is planning a dog day afternoon for May 25th. It's a full day of canine-oriented fun, demonstrations, and education at the Stevensville Conservation Area. Scott Broda is with us. Scott, thanks for joining us. Thank you so much. Why a dog day? How did this come about? Well, it started about six months ago. Uh, we were going to have just a little dog show for the kids in the town, to bring the puppies out, you know, have a good time. No, it, it didn't stay that way. So what happened? Was it during your meetings that it uh, got bigger, or did the public well, come the, up? Well, the meetings were just kind of focused on that, but the public got a hold of it, and they said, oh, no, you got to do this, and you got to do that, and you got to have, you know, vendors, and you got to, really, okay, we can do it. And we're just a small club of 14, and every, everybody's pitched in, and it has blossomed into a really big event. And we hope this is going to be an annual event. The deal here is to show up with your dog and Absolutely. mingle with the dogs. Absolutely. If they're dogs or if you've got them under control, bring them. It's going to be a family fun fair. Tell me a little bit about uh, who is appearing. I know you've got a pet doula. You've got the canine unit. We do. We have uh, Fluffy the Clown, and she's going to be making dog balloon figures. Appropriately. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, Sparky the fire dog. I'd never heard of him before, but I guess he's a big thing up here. <laughs> yes, he is. <laughs> I'm not You're from, from Denver, here. right? I'm from Denver, yes. yes. <laughs> Moved here in 2013. No Sparky down in Denver. No, uh, we have uh, Yogi Bear. I mean, uh, Yogi Bear. <laughs> Smokey Bear. Smokey the Bear. Yeah. And... Uh, Anyway, where was I? <laughs> <laughs> we were talking about oh, what we're doing. What is happening we've on got, the 25th? We've got over 35 vendors of all different things, mostly pet related. Uh, we've got uh, face painters, artists, photographers. We've got a, a retriever dog that's coming. They'll show us what it can do. So doing some demonstrations. Yes. Uh, we've got a CPR specialist for dogs. Oh, a detection dog, and Niagara Police uh, is bringing their canine unit. So will the canine unit be doing some demonstrations as well? I believe so. Are I you offering so. yourself up as you know someone to no, put on No, actually, that our incoming president said he wants to put on the suit. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see, when is the uh, annual general meeting, when the new president is? Uh... Uh, we, we change over on the 30th of June. And he mm, takes that's enough time. He takes office. You know. <laughs> yeah, he'll have to heal up probably. <laughs> I think he's just looking for an excuse for a knee replacement. <laughs> now, Scott, this is all free. Yes, it's all free. Yeah, to the free public. admission to the park. Uh, we have uh, hot, free hot dogs to the first two hundred people that come in and want hot dogs. Uh, the uh, conservation club themselves are going to be providing the drinks inside their club. We have a penny raffle and a silent auction. We already have over like almost 90 gifts for the penny raffle. Incredible. Perfect. Which is huge. So, yeah, that's where our uh, I think our income for the year is going to come from. The funds for this are used for what? Okay. They are used to help build the club and also for our international projects. Uh, we currently are doing a uh, project with a cluster grant with 11 other clubs in the Niagara area. And the grant this year is to uh, provide new x-ray equipment to a little tiny town, a little clinic down in Columbia. Right. Uh, all of their, their stuff is just obsolete. And they're going to they're gonna bring in all new stuff. Uh, train the staff on how to use it. And without that cluster grant, our little club probably couldn't do much. You know, we only can afford maybe a thousand US, which is 1500 roughly Canadian. And that doesn't go very far internationally. But you get together with 11 other clubs, 10 other clubs. Power in numbers. Power in numbers. Uh, then that gets matched through Rotary International. And all of a sudden, you got a big chunk of money that you can do something. For sure. May 25th, May 10 a.m. till 4 p.m.? Uh, till 4 p.m., yep. At the Stevensville Conservation Center. Yes. Scott, thanks for joining us. Hey, thank you so much for inviting me. It's been a pleasure.